I'm Musa Kawila and welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. If you're on your phone, I hope you're taking pictures of your celebrities, your influencers and pictures of me, okay? Chomi, we are evaging up. Shit. What a night. Oh my God. Let me tell you. So, you know, me and my friends, we made it to uh, Mohale's Club Fusion Cocktail Lounge. It's in Melville, uh, 12 Main Road, if I'm not mistaken. It's opposite, um, what's this place? Stones. And uh, if you've been, like, you know, during my time when we used to party at the Melville, that place was called Kids Pyjamas, then it closed down. So now it is back as a... Uh, Fusion Cocktail Lounge, right? Anyway, I am Musa Kavula and welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. Let me get me a drink. Ipa pala zingenzani. So anyway, uh, our friend uh, Zoe had uh, invited us to come through, you know, hang out, get our alcohol in. And when I, so fine, we got there, I um, mean, my friends, we got there around about 12 midnight. So cool, you know, everybody was nice and one not but uh the club was in packed to the brim of which i don't understand like you know what i'm feeling a ways about that because obviously uh mohali has you know like the many thousand gay friends and one of the ones that wanted her actually the ones that wanted he to leave you know so measy and one not none of that people was in that fucking place by the way it was just like a couple of people i would say uh from a head count, I would say probably there was about, I'd say roughly 100 people. So it was like a decent number, but you know, it wasn't as busy, it wasn't packed. It was well, not so fine. Uh, we got there, and then I remember I saw Gorky, we were sitting at the same table. We were sitting at the same table at the VIP. Gorky was there, uh, Elizabeth was there as well. Okay, I don't know the other girls that we were sitting with, but obviously Zoe, our friend, she was there as well. You know, we had the champagne, it was cute. And then we had, uh, what else we had? The Yaga Master bitch, we was having that. And then my friends were like having beer and, and all of that stuff, right? So fine, uh, as the night was going, okay, I seen Mohale as well. He was there wearing a white shirt, it was, it was written fusion cocktail or whatever. I suppose that's what's gonna be the uniform for the guys that work there. But you know what? It was fine. He was he was okay. Boring personality. I didn't get like you know. He was just fine. And uh, his friend was there as well. Uh, Peace was there. I seen him. He was wearing a mask. And one of which in my head I was like, hi man. You know, cause like you know we were there for like a good for a good time. So fine. After a couple of hours, because now I was looking, I'm like, hey, well, up on my chum, we got Mohale and whatnot, because, you know, I ain't seen them. So eventually, I seen Peace, then I seen that other, that other unknown gay, shame, he like, he like gave me like some attitude, but I'm like, bitch, you are not known, but guess who's known? I am Musa Kaula. Who the fuck are you? I don't give a shit. But anyway, let me drink. So during that situation, okay, so we humble like every two seconds, bitch. You know what? It felt like we was in a scary movie, bitch. Let me tell you. So okay, so you're humble. Oh boy, yeah, I'm a generator. I don't know what was happening. But you know what, Shame, it was a good time. I got drunk. I am not going to lie. Oh my God. I got drunk just, uh, I would say around about three. That's when I left because I told my friends, like, you know what, shit, I don't got time for this. They didn't want to leave it, but I was having a good time. I'm like, you know what? I bolted my ass and I left. And why not? But cute place, uh, you know, you can go check it out. I, I like it, except for the fact that obviously he doesn't own the place. It is owned by some other vendor man and, you know, some other motowang is listed as the owner, but it's definitely not Mohale. And, you know, everybody's saying, okay, some of our friends are saying, or obviously, because he put, I think it's his sister uh, that is listed as a shareholder, so they like, or he put his sister and why not as a cover up because he was going through the divorce, but they were never married. What divorce? Because we just had, you know, the wind that, you know, what these people were never married. The case was being closed. They, you know, they, there was no marriage basically. So I, I don't understand that whole argument. Yoguti, a bigger 
funa o cover up and whatnot. But anyway, congratulations uh, to Mohale and you know what, and owning the club that he don't own or whatever it is. But yeah, we had a good time, man, my friend. So anyway, we're gonna move on. I want us to talk about Zahara for a second. Oh my God, not Zahara getting engaged to that. To the criminal man, that man is giving me like scammer vibes, bitch. I'm like, where the fuck is it coming from? That engagement, cheap as fuck, bitch. It was like set up in the dining room area and you know, in a few petals on the floor and that oldest couch over there. I think it's like cream white or white. It's old as fuck. Oh my God. But anyway, Zahara is stressing me, bitch. Not so long ago, we was donating for her because she couldn't pay uh, her bond and whatnot. And now she goes and gets engaged to this scammer man. Apparently, this guy, his name is Sipo Kaba. He's said to be an engineer and whatnot. But, you know, I don't believe this. I'm like, oh my God. Imalga Zahara, iya hamba futu. Zahara will never learn. Because DJ Subu, umnyisile, manjo, utatis gebengu. I'm like, batong, yo. I'm really, really not feeling this guy. But anyway, congratulations uh, to Zahara. Obviously, we're going to be following this story. I don't even think they're going to get married. Like, Zahara needs to fucking wake up and, and like, you know, drink less or something. But, you know, we like Zahara. Zahara is a friend of our show. But, bitch, I am so stressed for she. Like, I'm not going to lie. Anyway, we're going to move on and talk about MJ Light having surprised uh, Uli Roy on his birthday with the same said I begins with the original MJ last year in Valentine, you know, Yaga Leroy and the original MJ when things were good. I remember that clip who MJ lied like why M7 in Waga Leroy and there was, you know, there was petals everywhere, there was roses and it was like literally a similar setup like one of my friends was like saying oh my god like you know Leroy has seen this movie before it looks exactly the same MJ uh, MJ like is lacking creativity I mean we all seen that video I'm sure it's still on this nigga man page uh, on his Instagram but anyway he did a similar thing basic as fuck but then I need to have a cinema so you know so it is what it is. So you know what, everything is on the budget and that bitch obviously hey YouTube, you know, she's uploading less now. If she's still even uploading, cause I'm like, I, I don't really check her work really, but I know that I haven't seen her shit in a hot second cause she's busy. Okay, daughter, like I'm understanding. Like why I'm against YouTube play. But anyway, I want us to move on. We're gonna talk about Lyra. Lyra is back bitch. You know that she had the stroke and then the white man left she. Oh my God. Oh, let me drink. And if you remember, the update is I have vocal cords like got damaged from the stroke and my nose. So, but now we've seen her. She took to her Instagram, you know, to give like a health to give us like a health update that you know what she is recovered and whatnot. I'm so happy for her, but I don't care that you no, know, she don't got a voice. Anyway, I never liked her singing. I never thought she could. I remember when she ruined that. Uh, national anthem at the SA Sports Awards page. I would never forgive her for that. I'm just, I don't care that she don't got a voice. Maybe, you know, good riddance to bad rubbish type of thing. But anyway, you know, she's back now. We're so happy that obviously, you know, she's recovered or recovering rather. And then, yeah, it is what it is. And, and yeah, those who are waiting for music, I shame. Good luck to y'all. But you know who we're looking forward to? Our friend's album, Zonke. The name of the album is going to be Embo or something like that. I'm looking forward to that album, bitch. I don't even know when it's coming because she's going on that Enigma tour. It's going to be in Carnival City, bitch. I heard that uh, the, the VIP tickets are sold out. I'm sure there's like a couple more. You know, but if you're going to be there, bitch, we're going to see you there having a good time at the Enigma tour. I am personally looking forward to this. For now, i got things to do, bitch. You get busy as well. Bye.